so you're looking for an advanced singing warm-up. Well, hello, my overachievers, my superstars. Well, get ready for a challenge because today I'm taking you through a pretty advanced vocal workout with the singing straw. Let's do this. If we haven't met yet, I'm Whitney Nicole, singer, songwriter, vocal coach, and creator of The Singing Straw, which is a pretty awesome tool that helps singers develop a healthier, stronger, and more balanced voice. Find out more info and get yours on singingstraw.com. And before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you're notified when our weekly singing videos drop. Let's get singing. We are gonna start off today, you guys, with a long scale. But not just any, we're gonna double it up. So one breath, the same long scale twice. And this is an octave and a half. Twice, okay? So my lower singers, you guys can drop the octave down here. And we'll go, nice big breath. Two more guys. And last one. Yes, there we go. Nice job. You should be feeling pretty good now. All right guys, so next up, we're gonna play around with major and minor scales. So first we're just gonna start out with our traditional major scale that many of you might already know. So solfege, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Or if you like, numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. You're gonna do it on the straw. So. And what I'd like you to do now is pause the video and see if you can do it without me. So here's your root and give it a go. Okay. Now, if you're coming back to me, I'll play it again with you. Does that feel pretty easy? All right, all right. So next up, you guys, we're gonna take a natural minor. So all of a sudden we have our minor chord here, and if we wanna do a minor scale on top, a natural minor is gonna take the third, give it a flat, take the sixth and the seventh and flat them both. So it'll sound like this. And I'm gonna have you hold that top note just like we did with the major. Okay, so try it with me with the straw. Do you feel where those notes are different? Remember, it's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So it's that three, six, and the seven that are all flatting a half step there. So pause again the video, try to do it on your own. It's really important for you to train your ears so that you can kind of understand and hear and feel these differences. Try it. And then once you've unpaused, come join me again.
Cool. So third, we're going to add in a harmonic minor. And the harmonic minor is raising that seventh. We still keep the third and the sixth flatted, just like we did on the last one. Keep them flat. But then we're going to raise that seventh back to the natural. So it's going to sound a little bit like this. Can you hear where that was different? So try to do that on the straw with me. Same thing goes now, I want you to pause and go see if you can do that on your own. There's your chord, go for it. So now we're gonna take all three of those and put them together. Bonus points if you can do it on one breath. We're gonna start with the major, then move to the natural, then to the harmonic, okay? So. I had to sneak a breath in there. How about you? Did you make it? Uh, try it again, guys. All right, so I'm gonna do it again, and I want you to just sing it back with me. Here we go. Woo! Did you make it? Nice. So a great option to pause here, try it on your own without the piano or without me singing along, and see if you can really work your ear. Next up, you guys, this is one of my favorites. It's a triple banger. We're going to combine three of my favorite exercises into one. So we're going to take first that octave and a half, and then we're going to add a five tone to an arpeggio. Grab your straw, all on one breath. Here we go. Lower singers. Actually, I will play down with you guys and I will sing up the octave. Yeah. If this is hard, that's okay. You'll get faster. You can slow this down with the YouTube. It's got a little function for it to slow down if you want. That's it. It's also got a function to speed up if you want. always gets me you guys oh it's my favorite okay next up you guys we are going to be doing a super fun downward pentatonic so with this though we're going to alternate between straw and then we're going to move to an open vowel okay so what i mean by that is we're going to start up here and this one sounds like this i'll actually sing you the whole scale as i want you to do it it's And you 
can actually play around with what vowel. Ooh would be one option. Yeah would be another. Um, I might go back and forth between the two, but you guys can choose one, whichever feels good. Tip, if you're trying to get more power and you feel like you tend to have a quieter voice, maybe go with the yeah. If you feel like you have a really heavy pulley voice um, that you're always trying to thin out or relax a little bit, try the ooh. So here we go. Lower voices, here we go. And you want to move that as fast as you can move while keeping those intervals or those movements clean. Awesome, awesome. So that for me is a pretty solid workout. I'm gonna add a little cool down in here because anytime I kinda work on my voice like that and I like to have a little cool down. So we're just gonna do nice easy. All right, this is just an exhale. We're kinda letting out any of that tension. This is the cool down after the run. You know what I'm saying? So how's your voice feeling? Was that challenging? Could you keep up? 
Do you want a little bit more? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, you guys, it's a pleasure singing with you. So if you are enjoying these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. It really helps to support our channel so that we can keep making more videos for you guys. Keep singing and I hope to see you again soon.